Hi, I'm Josh, and right now I'm going to show you the correct way to configure your iPhone for Gmail. Now, I'm sure if you've had an iPhone for a while and you had a Gmail account, that you might have tried out Gmail on your iPhone and noticed some weird functionality. Well, right now I'm going to show you how to get the complete functionality out of the brand new Gmail IMAP settings. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your computer and change some settings really quick. Okay, before we do anything with the iPhone, what we're going to want to do is go to your computer and log into your Gmail account. And in your inbox area, go ahead and go up to the top right hand corner, right to the right of where it displays your email address, and click on settings. Now, this is going to take us to your settings page, and what you're going to want to do is go over to the section that's highlighted that says forward and pop slash IMAP. Click on this section. Now below, you may, um, you're going to want to go down to IMAP access, and since this is a brand new feature on the iPhone and with Gmail, you're, um, you're going to want to go ahead and click Enable IMAP. Then you're going to want to save changes, and once that's done, you're ready to go ahead and take a look at your iPhone. Okay, now that you've changed a couple quick settings on your computer, you're going to get your iPhone and hit Settings and go down to mail. In mail you're going to want to add a new account and now you'll see Gmail right here but you do not want to hit the Gmail button. This is not updated yet so what you want to do is hit other because you're going to be creating an IMAP account which it says right here IMAP. Now in name you're going to click name and you can enter whatever name you want just your name. In address you're going to enter your exact Gmail address. So whatever it is at gmail.com. In the description, enter whatever description you want. So my email. Next, you're going to want to go down to the host name for the incoming server. Right here, you want to type in imap.gmail.com. Next, in your username, you're going to want to enter your exact Gmail address. So your full email, email address. Whatever it may be, at gmail.com. In the password section, you're going to want to enter your Gmail password, and then you're going to scroll down to outgoing mail server. An outgoing server, you're going to type in smtp.gmail.com. Just like that. Then again, you enter your username, which is your full Gmail address, and your password, and click Save. So next, to completely configure your inbox and all your folders, just like in your Gmail in a web client, on your iPhone, you're going to want to go to Settings, go back to your mail, find your Gmail account that you created, scroll down, and hit the Advanced button. Under Advanced, you're going to want to first click on Drafts, and you can see up here it's already checked on top. What you want to do is scroll down and hit Drafts under Gmail. You're going to want to do the same thing for the Sent, so scroll down and hit Sent Mail under Gmail, and you're going to want to do the same thing for Deleted Messages. That's going to be Gmail Trash. Scroll back. Go out, go to your mail, and your email will function just like it does actually on Gmail. You can see here I have all my Gmail folders and I even have all of the different folders or all of the different tags that I have in my actual Gmail account online.